Audio volume or level adjustments are one of those things you use without thinking. But there are circumstances that you wish that things go automatically. Really annoying is that under that beautiful movie, the dialogues are okay, but the music, or worse, the effect sounds are too loud. I need to push the button, Max. Most movies are well balanced and mixed for movie theater or large auditoriums. But at home, you frequently have to adjust the volume. That's where an automatic volume control comes in handy. It lowers the maximum sound levels and amplifies very soft whisper of the dialogue. But using a diode for that purpose? Welcome again to the Netherlands. In this video, I'd like to show you the latest development an audio automatic gain control unit, uh, annex compressor, annex limiter, built from parts that I found in the in the junk box. It, uh, this is an old housing from a USB drive, computer drive, and some old uh, VU meters and uh, some potentiometers. It all started with uh, an article that I read uh, about the special behavior of diodes below their threshold value. Using a diode as a variable resistor sounds strange. Resistance in a diode is unwanted. It makes the diode heating up when used with higher currents, something we don't want. If uh, a diode is not exceeding the 0.7 for silicon, 0.7 volts. Um, it's not in the on state. And if a diode is not in the on state, the resistance of that diode is reasonably high. When the diode forward bias voltage passes a threshold, current will flow. For silicon diodes, usually 0.7 volt is that threshold. Above this threshold, and diode becomes in so-called on state and resistance will be reasonably low. But there are spooky things going on if the threshold voltage is not reached yet. And when I tested it uh, on a small circuit board, uh, I found indeed that the resistance in the forward and the reverse mode are identical and uh, you can alter the resistance by applying a current. And uh, that current is small, very small indeed. To have a suitable resistance, so the diode can be used as part of a potentiometer, a current of 0.2 milliamps is practical for instance with a 1N4148. With this low current, the diode will have an almost identical resistance in the forward and reverse direction. Typical for this diode, a resistance lower than 1 kilo ohm can be expected dependable of the applied current of course. This effect of regulating the internal resistance of a diode with a little current makes it possible to create an electronic potentiometer. After several tests it became clear that distortion of this variable resistor is less than using a transistor or FET. And then finally for everybody who's interested, the schematic. At the input stage a potentiometer to adjust the incoming audio level. With one stage amplification, with the help of a transistor from the Stone Age. If we look a little lower we discover the control amplifier to the VU meter. Important, because if you want to ask the 40 dB window that this design offers, level on the collector from that first stage has to be right. So, the correct window is created for the diode bridge, so uh, it will not exceed a certain value. In this case, uh, I think 100 millivolts audio peak to, peak to peak. From there, through a, th a capacitor of three, uh, 399 <laughs> FRS uh, into the integrated circuit LM741, and that circuit is not used for audio, it's used to create a DC voltage that 
uh, arriving from, from the audio, of course. And also that is very conventional uh, through di two diodes to rectify and one extra diode to make a fast attack. Followed by a switch with the selection fast, medium and slow. Slow special suitable for classical music. You do not want to adjust the volume of classical music too fast. Medium for movies and documentaries. Fast is special and intended for modulation of a ham transmitter. Also in the output stage are special limiters to prevent overloading of transmitter output stages. From that switch we go through an emitter follower and uh, also a 2K2 resistor bridged over by 180 ohms and an extra diode to a capacitor of 10 microfarads and that's obviously to make a fast attack time and a slow delay. Then the current through the diodes. And from the diodes, via a capacitor of 2.2 microfarad, to the output stage. The output stage consists of a standard amplifier and two emitter followers. Here are the extra diodes mounted that limit the output voltage to 2 volts peak peak maximum and installed it will protect against spikes at the output and handy if used in front of any amateur transmitter make sure that your RF is not entering the input the used music was royalty free from YouTube and this schematic is available after request in JPG well that concludes the, uh, the schematic and uh, obviously if you want to use it for stereo you need two of them and I hope to see you again in the next video. Stay safe. Bye bye.